the strategy that hope is fronting is called the block lock and excise strategy remember everything we are talking about centers around what we call reservoirs or those places where the virus is hiding you must be able to tell where the virus is hiding try and get to it and then do whatever you want to do there to get it out and they are getting this idea from the fact that many viruses that we have lived with over the decades and years and generations and revolutionary over the years there are many viruses we know that can do what HIV does which is get themselves locked up together with the, the genetic DNA material of the host of the human but when they go to sleep they never wake up so you get infected and some of them get locked up but for them they don't have the ability to wake up like HIV does so they know that viruses can do that so that's where the idea is coming from can we block it from replicating and then lock it in there so the different labs and different scientists involved are all doing different activities towards towards that goal okay so where do we come in we are clinicians mostly for us we are clinicians and we are participating in this collaboratory from the very start so that we understand everything that is happening in the hope that once we have products ready for testing in humans we shall be able to participate in those studies where the products can be tested in humans so our us as scientists here are working very closely with the other scientists in the united states and other parts of the world part of this collaboratory uh, to, to share ideas uh, understand the, what the lab is saying we have lab personnel as well uh, uh, who can uh, participate uh, you know in all these tests uh, as we learn together <laughs>